looking up Augustine Road. As we swing round, we see number 17. Another opening and lots more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got lots. I just uh, ran out. To be honest, we just ran out. Yeah. Looking at the front entrance to the property. Basement. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Chit Chong. I work on energy and sustainability issues in Camden Council. 17 and St Augustine's Road was primarily funded by uh, Camden Council who, who funded the construction and refurbishment of the building and Urban Bus who funded the research and dissemination of uh, information from the project. 17 and St Augustine's Road is a Victorian house in a conservation area. Uh, it's, it's, it's a large semi-detached house which in any other um, city would probably deserve listing. Um, so the, the, the work that we're, we're doing on 17th and Augustine's Road has both a heritage and an energy efficiency uh, dimension. The reason that 17th and Augustine's Road uh, is important is because it's a solid wall Victorian building. Now there's 56% of housing in London which are solid wall and bearing in mind that 38% of emissions come from housing, uh, I think that's in the country, um, doing something about a solid wall buildings is essential if we're going to meet this uh, any uh, significant uh, target for carbon reductions. In Camden this is much more uh, of an issue because so much of Camden ha has heritage value. 60% of Camden is within uh, conservation areas. 17th and Augustine's Road is owned by Camden Council and we're refurbishing it to bring it back into our housing stock. Um, and we started off aiming to, um, to reduce the energy, to, to reduce the emissions from 17 and St Augustine's Road uh, by 90%. Uh, to be honest, this 90% figure was a bit of an arbitrary uh, figure, but there are reasons behind it. Um, th there's exist uh, an existing government target to achieve 60% of carbon reduction by 2050. And when you bear in mind that a house like uh, 17th and Augustine's Road, a Victorian house, uh, rarely gets radical refurbishment, uh, in this case it's once in uh, 150 years, you've got very few opportunities to improve the energy performance of, 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 the, of, of a Victorian house. The other issue, of course, is the sci increasing scientific evidence that says that uh, a reduction of 60% isn't going to, to uh, be a significant enough reduction in, in emissions to save the planet, so we're going to have to do more. The project is also interesting because uh, it's one of very few projects uh, in the country that are to do with a refurbishment of building which will be uh, scientifically monitored. University College um, uh, with, funded by the Urban Buzz, will be comprehensively monitoring the the building. Um, they'll have, they've got lots and lots of thermocouples dotted all around the building, measuring the internal temperature and also the in, interstitial temperature, the, the temperature and humidity uh, in the um, cavity between the insulation and the wall which is essential really to demonstrate whether uh, improvements of this sort work for Victorian dwellings.